Chef Buck here, and today we're going to open up a couple of cans of jackfruit. I got a ripe jackfruit. I think we opened up a can of this in Seattle and tried it. And I wasn't crazy about it, so this will be a trip down memory lane for me, because usually I buy young, green jackfruit, unripe jackfruit. You can use this in a lot of different recipes. Uh, but when you go to the store to buy jackfruit, make sure that you get the kind you're looking, what you're looking for. for exactly because the recipes that I have up on this channel like for chicken tikka masala for a barbecue kind of a faux barbecue pork I always use young green jackfruit because this is a great faux meat substitute like if you're making the uh, jackfruit pulled pork it sort of mimics the texture of pork and that's a very barbecue -y, uh, dish so it tastes like barbecue sauce the jackfruit doesn't have a lot of flavor, the unripe jackfruit. So basically you're using it for texture. So in dishes where you need a meat, you can substitute this if there is a lot of flavor that you're bringing to the dish that doesn't come from the meat. Like with the chicken tikka masala recipe that I have, you know, I'm using a lot of Indian spices to create the dish. And so those spices are the main component. That's what you taste is that flavor. And then the green jackfruit gives you the texture. But I don't think it would work for this. I think of this as more like a fruit cocktail. I know we had this, but I can't even remember because the only reason I bought this was to contrast it with this. I love this stuff here. I don't think I like this, but we're going to get into this can and find out. But you can check on the ingredients. This is a young green jackfruit in brine. Usually when I buy jackfruit, it's in water or brine. Now, brine just pretty much means it's salty water. I think that's for me. Now, jackfruit in syrup means it's in sugar. So this is a very sugary type jackfruit. We usually go to international groceries like uh, Indian grocery stores or Asian grocery stores or some sort of international grocery to find this at a great price. But I think uh, I've seen it in Trader Joe's. So you might be able to find it in just your regular big box grocery store in the U.S., I'm pretty sure in Trader Joe's, but in Trader Joe's, everybody sort of kind of looks like they eat this kind of thing. So it's kind of a hipster sort of. You don't meal. consider yourself a hipster? Oh, I'm definitely a hipster. I'm what you call an aged hipster. Okay, then. Let's open these up and see what the difference is. All right. And I'm just going to pour it into a plate here and see if it'll all fit. Should not make too much of a mess. It's a pretty thin syrup, which is nice. And I'm just going to drain this off in the sink because I know I don't want any of this brine. Alrighty, so there you have it. That's what you will find in the can. This is the unripe green jackfruit and this is the ripe jackfruit. Now this here you can eat. You can eat either one of these right out of the can. But this here isn't going to have much flavor. This is very bland. I mean, I've, I've never really eaten it like this here. Just maybe I've done a taste test. In yes, another you video. have. You've done it. You just, always just it. illustrate that you can eat it, but it really doesn't have any flavor at all, which makes it fantastic for these faux meat recipes because it, you can use it to mimic pork and chicken and it'll taste like whatever flavors that you add to it. It's just great for texture and it pulls right apart. Like you can see it almost looks really meaty just like there. It almost looks kind of like shredded chicken when you get the outer part of the, uh, the jackfruit pulls away. Now when you get toward more towards the center and the core it's a little harder to pull apart. Sometimes it will, and sometimes you just have to take a knife, knife and slice it. And then there will be seeds in it as well. And you can just crush those or slice those up. But it's very wet, you know, because it was in uh, water or brine, you know, when it was in the can. So a lot of times uh, when I make a jackfruit dish, like for chicken tikka masala, or if I wanted to mimic chunks of chicken, I will slice it into chunks instead of shredding it. And then I will just bake it in the oven uh, with seasoning on it. And then that way, you know, it'll sort of bake that seasoning in 
and dry the jackfruit out so that you have more of a meaty texture. Because this here, I don't like it wet like this. You know, even when I make the uh, green jackfruit barbecue, you know, I will cook it in a skillet and cook some of that water out of there. Now this here is an entirely different animal altogether. You know, it doesn't feel anything like the other jackfruit. It feels very rubbery. You know, this has been sitting in a can of sugary water for, I don't know, probably several decades. This was probably put in the can <laughs> right no. about the time that I was being birthed. No. Let me do a taste of this here. It just tastes like sweet, sugary fruit. It's not exactly like a fruit cocktail. It looks like it has a little more fiber It's or in that neighborhood. It's a little more fibrous, but not nearly as fibrous as this. I don't know what the heck I would do with this stuff. I guess you could make a pie. And you could make a peach cobbler. Mm. And you could add that to it. Ripe jackfruit isn't my thing. The texture is a little different. You know, it's been canned for a while. Yeah, it's sweet and... Yeah, sweet and what? More texture? <laughs> So this is what ripe jackfruit out of the can looks like versus unripe jackfruit. So quite a big difference. Now I'm gonna make tacos today with this. All right, so this here is the jackfruit that I've cooked with a little bit of the uh, taco seasoning. So as you can see, this looks a lot like a uh, chicken. And then I've got some fish here. Now this is some salsa out of your mother's fridge. And I'm going to take a chance on this. Anything out of your mother's fridge that's in a jar. I don't know. Is this going to be from this century? She doesn't waste. That is a good thing. Yeah, well, you know, keeping it until it's uh, 10 years out of date. I mean, is that wasting? You're not an expert. you got to put the cheese on the bottom so it can melt by the meat that you put on there, buddy. You're right. I'm definitely not an expert. But I got some of the uh, jackfruit. I'm going to put a little bit of slaw. I made some slaw. Yeah. We had some fish tacos last week at a restaurant. And they were hipster fish tacos. So they had slaw. So we thought we would go the slaw route this time. I'm just really packing this thing. I was going to say, buddy. It's too much. Oh, but not for a chef buck mouth. Mm -mm. <laughs> you can see how much... Uh, like meat that jackfruit is when you cook it up like that and I kind of started it in a skillet but I wasn't happy with it because we didn't have a nonstick skillet so it wasn't doing too great like you're gonna be able to finish that sentence now <laughs> so I put it in the oven and finished it up in the oven with this fish but the main thing is is you want to dry the jackfruit out get that water out of there and replace it with whatever flavors you have. And in this case, I've used that taco seasoning pack. And that's all you put on it? Mm-hmm. Well. Well, that's a surprise for Chef Buck. I know, but I'm nervous, you know, cooking for your mother. Because if I over-season it for Camera Girl, I can just tell Camera Girl to deal with it. I'm like, hey, <laughs> I made your dinner, deal with it. But I can't quite do that for my mother-in-law. I basically have to say, oh, I'm sorry, man. And then, then make it right. Because I'm a good son-in-law. <laughs> but it definitely works uh, for taco meat. What do you say to children? What do Chew I say? Chew your food. Oh. Don't talk with your mouth full. That's right. That's for children. As an adult, <laughs> I'm no longer required to chew my food. Well, I don't think people watching are interested in seeing no. your food. Well, come down here for one last shot and tell me that that doesn't look like some kind of a meat. It does. And yeah. you're right, it gets the texture and it's a, a good transporter for some flavor. Yep, yep, yep. You know, if somebody does something with ripe jackfruit, that's interesting. You can, you can mention it down below in the comments. And if you know a convenient place to find jackfruit, that's not an international market. Because I don't know, where the heck are you going to buy canned jackfruit in the middle of Kansas or something? I don't know. Uh, you can buy it online. I've seen links on Amazon and I'll put a link down below to Amazon, but the reviews for the different places I've seen for that are a little iffy. So if somebody has a surefire good way to order it online, 
you know, go ahead and mention that down in the comments uh, because I would like to know because it's not always easy for us to uh, find this. Right now we're in uh, central Florida. We're near some big cities. So it's very easy for us to go to a large market and find this unripe green jackfruit. But there you have it. That's the difference. You know, I highly recommend buying some unripe green jackfruit and experimenting with some faux meat recipes. Just a super duper great ingredient. Ripe jackfruit, you know, <laughs> you know, Good luck. I think you've got a preference there. I'm not crazy about it. It's just a sweet... You'd rather have ice cream. Yeah, exactly. I'd rather eat a bowl of ice cream than, uh, than waste my uh, extraneous calories on this. But there you have it. Oh, Links to everything <laughs> down below. Thanks for watching all our videos and subscribing and commenting and all that jazz. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.